If COVID never happened, what all would have you done in on past four months? Honestly, I'd probably just find something else to complain about. Yeah, I thought I was lonely before this whole thing started, but now I realize I didn't know S. My brother is like that. Amen. My only real solace in this whole thing is that life pre-COVID wasn't exactly perfect for me either. I would have some of the vision that I lost. Because I spent months trying to find a neuro-ophthalmologist that would see me after I started going blind. That would be cool. But now I get to learn some interesting new skills like find a new career that can be done when legally blind. And don't walk into things that you can't see. It's an adventure. I would have had to work only 40 hours a week instead of the 70 that I have. The stupid clients are that since people are at home and under the fear of losing their jobs, we can overwork them to insanity. I would have gotten my tooth surgery done and over with. I'll do it totally free and underground if you have flyers. Similarly, I may have gotten to see a GI doctor instead of three or visits where I felt like I was dying. I finally got my wisdom teeth out two weeks ago. Should have been done three or four months ago. Was supposed to go to Burning Cat. Using the vacation for my dad's funeral instead. I hate 2020. I buried my dad with my free summer this year as well. If you want to talk, you can DM me. Edit. It looks like a lot of us are dealing with similar losses this summer. I want to tell you all that we're going to make it. That it's okay to cry. And that I wish you all the closure and peace you need right now. So sorry for your loss. Burning cat? Is that a burning man ripoff? Take my Vietnamese girlfriend to Vietnam for two weeks. She hasn't been there since she was five years old and proposed to her. Thanks COVID. P.S. I proposed here in the States anyway. She said yes. Congrats. Sorry about the trip though. Congratulations. My friend was supposed to go with his wife to see her entire family in Colombia since she hadn't been back since before they were married over a year ago. Feel bad for them honestly. I would have taken a kick a trip to Japan which would have been way outside of my budget. Funny thing, I realized I wanted to go to Japan in the Olympics and I regretted not saving money. Next thing I know Olympics are postponed and I now have a chance to save. I even realized that my friend also wants to go so I will no longer need to go by myself. He doesn't give a heck about the Olympics though. I would have got married today. Here I can do the vows for you. Do you take your significant other to be your lawfully wedded husband, wife? Would have kept my job. Gotten a raise. A sizable bonus. Moved out of my parents' house. And ultimately taken my plunge into independence. Edit to whichever kind soul gave me platinum. Thank you heart it's my first ever award. Now how can I spend this on weed? I would have gotten a full-time job at my internship after graduating. But they lost too much money during COVID to justify hiring me. Edit Jesus Christmas. This comment did well. Thanks to everyone for sharing your stories. I got a job after graduating but not everyone is as lucky. I would be working a part-time job in a failing weed shop which probably would have been shut down by now. Instead. I'm now the manager. Have fixed nearly 100 issues I inherited from the previous manager. Store sales have improved greatly. And I suddenly have a career. All thanks to the global pandemic. Yay? Edit. Holy hell this escalated quick. I'll do my best to answer these questions during my downtime between customers. Edit 2. Location. Canada. How I became manager, see hits and I am the first of the four workers to be laid off. During the morning of what I then expected to be my last shift. One week later, the original manager has children. So when everything was shut down the owner laid her off so she could apply for Zerb. Or take care of her kids. And lose very little income. A manager, now set to take over the store after cannabis is deemed essential. 
doesn't know or didn't care about Serb, makes a fuss about Ohm being laid off, and has not taken his training seriously. I receive a call from the owner asking if I would be willing to come back to work as he no longer trusts the AM to not do anything stupid. The next morning I am informed that AM has been laid off, and going forward I will be the acting manager. Edit 3 issues include but are not limited to products being improperly labeled, categorized, and priced. She was pricing a handful of items at a 300% plus markup. Mistakenly I hoped she also made over 70 inventory errors, making it look like either had two to three times the amount of individual products or the opposite side where it looked like we had only half of the product in our inventory. This amounted to the appearance of nearly $100,000 in missing product, which is frowned upon by the governing body, and led an inspector to be on my A for nearly eight weeks while I had to find explanations for the discrepancies. Edit 4. After roughly three months as acting manager and running the store alone, I was made the permanent manager and the other bud tender was brought back. So a few days a week I can focus on paperwork and not need to do everything by myself. Which has really helped lower my stress level. Honestly about the same thing. Edit. I feel accomplished. Thanks. Same thing except I got fatter due to being at home all day. Me too. I see a lot of stuff telling people to forgive themselves for not being productive right now. But I know me. And I don't think I'd have been that productive if life was continuing as normal. Same thing but without a mask lol. Quite honestly nothing. I'd still be working and saving all the money I can. I guess if there was one thing that would have changed is that my small business wouldn't have been forced to shut down. But come Monday I'm back open smiley face. Good luck with the reopening. What type of business is it? The only difference is that we played D&D &D over Roll20, Discord instead of in person. Edit. A lot of people are asking how to find a group and the answers from other users keep getting buried. So here you go, Roll20 apparently has a group finding function and a lot of people suggest. RLFG. Hope this helps. I miss those days when it didn't make much difference. I moved to New York City in February a few weeks before the lockdown started. I had a whole binder of things I wanted to see and do in a job I was excited about. But I got laid off as soon as things got started and everything I wanted to do became impossible. And some of it is probably never coming back. I would have been taking the train to every station, catching impromptu shows, hunting down the best open mics, trying to pin down the best pizza and burger putting together a D&D &D group, and traveling to other parts of the Northeastern us that I've always wanted to see. I had big plans for this year, and I'm so heartbroken that all I've experienced is an endless chorus of sirens. I would not be alive. I was planning to commit suicide. I would have been dead before the lockdown. But when everything shut down I had met someone and I immediately felt comfortable around them and I was able to vent and release years of bottled up emotions. And she helped me work through things one at a time, which started giving me hope that maybe I'm worth something. Edit. Wow I did not know replies can get this overwhelming. There are so many. Thank you all for the kind words. I don't have many positives. So this helps.